Hello everyone, uh, I am Suleiman. Uh, today we are going for annotation parts of the car. So, different annotation parts. So, basically, in this, we are doing uh, damage detections in a car. So, let me give you an example of how many damages or how many labels are there. So, basically, uh, let me give a quick overview. So, these are the visibility select. So, we can where can select. These are different shapes. You can say bonding box, polygon, point, rotating box, eclipse, point, polyline, or cuboid. Uh, you can mark as comment or text. This is comment. And other parts is home, uh, undo, redo, or revert all. And this is hide labels, settings, and settings such as brightness, contrast, or saturation. And other is the hide and show comments. These are the images downside we can see the number or you can see the box we can select it so let me give an, uh, let me once again give an example of how we do it so this is how just a square box to give you an example so we can do we can send the uh, this box to the top layer or to the bottom layer and we can lock or unlock we can uh, show or hide labels we can visibility like let me show how to hide and select this hide it and we can show it visible so different classes we can see as mixelius so it mixelius means so uh, apart from this this is nowhere related to the cart parts missing so mean missing there are many attributes such as rim so vehicle rim is missing such as this part is missing vehicle rim fuel cap is missing door knob is missing bolt for the tires or the and the bolt is missing number plate is missing light is missing tire is missing rain guard is missing extra door is missing mud guard is missing grill is missing logo is missing unknown means the part is not uh, specified or are not known to us or mirror is missing window panel is missing windshield is missing glass is missing wiper is missing bumper and rocker panel so these are the missing uh, attributes so next is panel gap panel gap may be the panel gap between two panels such as we can see here the gap is between these panels or these panels uh, these are the panel gaps so next is broken glass broken glass can be glass of the window front glass or light glass or the window panel glass uh, next is broken exterior broken exterior means out part outside the cars anything broken like bumper is broken or bonnet is broken or a door is broken so for that we are marking it as a broken exterior Broken interior means uh, it's uh, related to inside of the car, such as some uh, the uh, inside parts is missing, like uh, seat is missing, seat is broken, or any other part uh, inside a car is missing. Minor broken uh, can be some little damages on the car, some that can be fixed easily, so that are minor broken. Broken means uh, it is not specified as broken, so uh, there, we are not using broken, so instead we are using broken exterior and broken interior only. So these are the class and actions we have to use. So let me give you an example. So in the first image, we can see that. Uh, so the project is basically on car damages. So we're uh, uh, using classes for damages only. So what are the damages happened due to car accidents or any damage to external? For th that only are marking. So we can see that there is no uh, damage here. So there, this is normal gap. So we can see that some part is uh, this normal gap so it has to be joined so we are marking this as panel gap so we use a polygon and mark it perfectly like this mm, make sure it is uh, not too much and not uh, less so you can mark it exactly how it is uh, like this like this so using polygon so that uh, not much area is covered uh, little, uh, no not much tolerance is given so this is a panel gap we can see it this is a difference like okay, let me show you once again how huh. okay, I, I added the polygon so this is a panel gap you can show you this is no panel gap so after that there are no much other damage the bolts are not missing tire is fine everything is fine so huh, this is a normal gap between the light and the bumper so after that what we are doing is we are sending for quality check if the image is not good then we can skip it so the next image is 
uh, this is a full car image we have to see it thoroughly that no no nothing uh, we miss in damage let me see so the wheel is fine light is fine door knob is fine window glass this side mirror is fine ha uh, this here you can see that bolt ha uh, bolt this is uh, this is normal the uh, fraction if uh, if the bolt is here and it is here missing here then it is, can mark it as missing but the same three bolts three bolts and one is missing it's a uh, fashion we call it or the style of the bolt ha uh, here we can see that it is broken here it is not that broken we can be easily fix so it we mark it as minor broken so let me do this minor broken uh why we are not using uh, square or other means let me mark it as minor broken okay a uh, square if we i use square or uh, takes too much space like right? uh, so we are using polygon set we don't give too much tolerance on this uh, area damage area and we use perfectly that only marking the area where it is damaged let's see others like glass is okay everything here, light is also okay uh here here we see a panel gap abnormal gap here is too much gap this is not gap so it marked it as panel gap so we mark it as panel gap yeah hmm. so we marking it as panel gap uh don't give too much tolerance oh look this is good so much as any other damage are there no in good is after that we are going for quality check next image is ah this is a zoomed in image but not that zoomed in if the image was too much zoomed in like this we are skipping that image we can i can't identify that uh, any damage in that but it is not that zoomed in so we are see it it is abnormal gap like the fender and the bumper are overlap the bumper is overlapping the fender so you mark it as panel gap uh, make sure it is marked perfectly uh, for sliding up and down we use shift and uh, mouse uh, uh, roll up and down if for uh, right to left we use control and roll up and down mouse uh for working on this um, annotation we have to have a mouse uh, with that we can't uh, with through laptop uh, mouse we can't do it we need external mouse only it is perfect uh, uh while uh, using an external mouse only so the tool we are using here is uh, super knight super knight is used to for uh, annotation of the parts only like different annotating uh, parts like humans animals or annotation of the cars so we are using annotation of the cars in this we are using damage so the image are in the damage or on all that so we are using one damage as is panel gap so you are going for quality check next image is uh, this is not good image like this zoomed in and it is not clear only so we are using the skipping the image for skipping the image we are using all plus s then image skip or you can use skip button next is next image is ha this is also zoomed in image but is not that too zoomed in you can see that here it is a panel gap abnormal gap so i am marking it as panel gap between the fender and the bumper you have to make sure if the car image is so whole like we can see the whole car you need to make sure that every part is checked so that we are not missing any damage so it is marked as panel gap after that we will send it for quality check next one is ha uh, here light is okay bumper is also okay grill okay no number plate missing ha uh, between the bonnet and the bumper there is a panel gap like means the bumper is uh, the bonnet is not closed properly so we are marking it as panel gap sometimes uh, it might be a style of the car like there's too much uh, gap between the bonnet and the bumper so we don't call it as panel gap but in this we can clearly see that there is a panel gap let me show you how 
look that let me see look that you know, is normal gap here but is too much gap here uh, so we're marking it as panel gap sometimes it can be the angle of camera angle it might be views we can tell it is too much focused or it is not too good image then we have to such uh, such kind of image we skip it uh, next image are uh, this is normal this is in the uh, interior of the car so there is no damage let me go next image this is um, this also oh, we can see that there is no damage here good image we can skip it uh, no damage here skip it no damage here skip it uh, this part we are not considering disturbed of not any damage due to any accident or not so we are not marking these parts okay next image ah this is an example of Michelin alias so, though this is not related to the the tire is there but is not we can say it is an extra part so we will mark it as Michelin alias this we mark it as Michelin alias class it is a perfect example mm. mark it perfectly so that uh, only the class attribute or that uh, what is damaged or what the Michelin is cost is there that only is marked not other parts are marked uh, something little bit is okay but not too much like too much tolerance don't give that is the part here super not uh, is not free so it's licensed one you have to buy it to work on it but it is good there are others also uh, that they are used for uh, annotation so this is a Michelin list class okay after that we are sending it for quality check next image is mm -hmm. this is a normal I think no damage around here so skip it oh no damage here is that mud no damage here next uh, no damage no no so here also no damage recorded so no damage here also here also it's not blur image so we can say it's good or bad if we can't see any damage so it's blurred we are skipping it skip skip and uh, skip skip ah it's a black image so skipping it um skip um, skip um, skipping so like that there are very many images like you are annotating so it's a good way to annotate images and learn a new thing and thank you